Hello and welcome back to another one of my videos. I have some exciting news to share. Uh, baby number two is on the way. We're very excited to share the news and I will be answering some questions about the pregnancy because I think a lot of you would like to know some of the details. How far along are you and when is the due date? I am now 17 weeks and the due date is December 7th. Is it a boy or a girl? We don't know yet, but we'll find out in a few weeks and I'm going to share. Do you want a boy or a girl? We both want a girl because we already have a boy and we would love to have one of each. But we would be super happy with a boy as well because I think that they would be buddies and we already have a good idea of what it's like to have a baby boy. What will the age difference be between the first and the second baby? They will be 23 months apart depending on how close I am to the due date. How are you feeling? Right now I'm feeling great but from week 7 to 12 it was very difficult. I had nausea, fatigue and even though it was similar to my first pregnancy it seemed a lot harder because I had to take care of a baby while I was sick. A little update on pregnancy number two. I'm nine weeks pregnant. I'm not showing yet but I'm having a lot of symptoms. I feel nauseous and tired and food is a big problem right now because I have so many aversions. There is nothing that is exciting to eat and every meal is a struggle. If I'm not excited about the food, I don't feel like cooking, especially because the smell of cooking makes it, makes it even more sick. So I feel nauseous all day, but especially when I'm hungry and that happens every three to four hours. But when I eat, I feel sick and almost throw up and I can't finish my meal. So it's really a vicious circle for which I have no solutions. I also feel a lot more tired than with my first pregnancy and need to sleep a lot and don't have energy. How is the second pregnancy versus the first? Uh, very similar so far, uh, similar first trimester. The only thing different is that with this pregnancy, I had some spotting. And with the first, I had none. Sorry if this is TMI. I'm showing sooner now than I did the first time, which I expected. Will you have another home birth? Probably not because we are now living in New Brunswick and there are no midwives available in my town. New Brunswick is very outdated when it comes to healthcare. And as far as I heard, there's only one pilot program that offers midwifery care and they only have a handful of midwives and it's in the capital of New Brunswick. However, they only accept a very small number of patients and I would have to live within 60 minutes of them, but I'm 10 minutes outside of that. There are some options for, for home birth where I live, but um, they are not covered by the free healthcare and they are all very, very expensive. But if I could, I would 100% choose to have a home birth again. Are you ready for two babies? No, <laughs> we are not. Uh, we've always wanted to have two kids. And from talking to other people, it seems like there's no perfect age gap. We fear the busyness and the lack of sleep most of all, but I also have fears about health or other things that could go wrong with having a newborn. Having a baby is a lot of sacrifice, hard work, and you need a lot of help to make it through um, in the beginning. I am thankful to have a lot of help, but for us, the hardest part with our first baby has been sleep. So we are both very worried about that for the second one as well. I try to give my worries to God and trust that he will see us through this transition phase of, two, of adjusting to two. I am incredibly thankful to be in this position of expecting a second baby. The first one is extremely exciting and I admit I don't give as much attention to the second pregnancy as I gave the first, but the idea of a family of four, which is what my husband and I have always wanted, brings so much joy and anticipation to our family. That's it for this video. I just wanted to update everyone on what's been going on with our family. This is also the reason why I've been slower at making videos but I have more updates coming soon and of course the gender reveal in a few weeks. If you want to see more videos, please subscribe and thanks so much for watching.